How's it going, YouTube? And people watching this live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash jjor64. Today is February 9th, 2023. And, and as you can see, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games are finally out on Nintendo Switch Online. So today we're going to be checking out Wario Land 3, arguably starting the show with the show starper. Wario Land 3 for the Game Boy Color is easily one of the best Game Boy Color games by far. And I'm actually kind of surprised they actually started with this game because this game is fantastic. Oh yeah, so we're just going to play the game for a bit and just kind of show it off and go from there. Uh, English. Wario. I know what them is free if you have standard online. Uh, okay, so you get the Game Boy, basically the Game Boy app, if you have the regular Nintendo Switch Online. If you have Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack, the, the higher tiered service, then you get Game Boy Advance. Whoa! So basically, we're flying, we crashed, we found this cool toy th thingy, and then we just got sucked into it. That's the rough story. The lore of Wario Land 3. Whoa! Hen figure. So that guy in the back talking. Are you aware, Wario? This world is in and the music box. Oh yeah, so that's where our music box. You are peering into. I was the god that protected this world. But one day, a wicked being sealed away my power and took control of this world. Mario, I want you to find the five music boxes needed to break the hidden seal and recover my powers. If you find them, I'll send you back to your own world. Of course, all the treasure you find is yours to keep. Will you help me? <laughs> That's the basic of the goal. So if you have never played this game before, it's played this game of Wario Land 2. They're very, very similar. Is that uh, they're platformers, but with some puzzle elements and stuff. So the interesting about thing about Warrior Land 2 and 3, because Warrior Land 1 is kind of its own thing, is that in these games, you actually can't die. You are basically just indestructible. Actually, yeah, so you can't die. So, um, Warrior Land 3 compared to, like, 2, this game, it's kind of like a Metroidvania, where you start with no powers, Eventually, you'll get some powers, and then when you get new abilities and powers, then you can backtrack to other stages to find treasure. So this was a game I actually owned the physical cartridge for. I used to. Sadly, I don't own the cartridge anymore, but I used to. And this game's great. So you see, we can't swim right now. This is one of my powers that we can get later on in the game. Yeah, like I said, you can't die in this game. It's, it's pretty interesting. Ooh, can't remember. Okay. So in this game, you need to find the key, and then you gotta find the treasure box. And there's four treasures per stage in this game. Not the basic gist of the game, but yeah, this game it's fantastic. It's really good. So I was I was surprised when they announced all the Game Boy games come into the service and this was their day one like okay they actually had this day one but not warrior land one or warrior land two so i was like oh heck yeah so in, this, in these games warrior land two and three you get like special transformations this is one of them my foot's on fire what's the point if you can't die but like i said this game it's like a it's more of a puzzle platformer not like a traditional like Mario platformer. So Wario Land 1 is more like a traditional platformer. This game's more of a puzzle platformer. All right, here we go. <laughs> Boy, 
blink. And there we go. So as you go through the different stages, you get these different items, and some of these items will actually interact with the world map. There's the music boxes right there. And that's like a bonus stage, and bonus golf stage. Yep, so we got the axe. So now we cut this tree down on the world map. And then Bagooj, the next stage. So north too. So this game, there's basically four different maps. There's north, west, east, and south. Not one, but two stages. And there's also a day-night cycle. Later on in the game, you can actually change the day-night cycle whenever you want. But early on, you can't do that. The peaceful village. North two. Wait. Here's another one of my cool transformations. I'm a zombie. So the zombie is interesting is that if you find platforms you can go through, you can, like that one up there, you can actually just fall right through it. And then go back to normal, you go into the light. I despawned them. And there's also some breakable walls. Can I break this one? No, I can't. Yeah, there's some like secrets and stuff. Um... I always forget. Okay, so I think we want this key. So I believe as you start, um, the gray key is the easier one. And I think it goes like gray, blue, red, green or something. I guess it shows it on the, the treasure map. And the other color one just shows kind of like the difficulty. Of getting the treasure. So yeah, so we can go through this platform. Zombie ability was also in Wario Land 2. I'm going to assume they'll probably have Wario Land 2 on Nintendo Switch Online sooner than later. Let's go. Cha. All right, so we gotta find the gray treasure chest. Oh, there it is, right here. Let's go. All right. Woohoo! So I think out of the current offerings right now on the Game Boy Nintendo Switch Online for the launch games, in my opinion, this is the best one. Yeah, so it goes gray, red, green, blue. And the further you get to the left, it's kind of, you need uh, different abilities to get later in the game, and they're a little harder to get. But this game, if I remember right, it's not super hard. It's just a fun game. And it's got the best world map song. Pipe. Some other pipes you can go down, but not that one. So now that uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games are on Nintendo Switch Online, of course, the big giant question Will Pokemon come out and will it support Pokemon Home? Apparently, through data mining, Pokemon is supposed to come and support Home. When that happens, we don't know. There's another power. We're gonna sneak past this gate. Let's go. Down the pipe. Whoa. So we can't swim yet, so. So for people that are checking this game out, and you if you've actually played Dr. Mario 64 and recognize some of these characters, well, it's mainly because the entire roster in Dr. Mario 64, they basically come from this game. Duh. So it's kind of interesting. So we're looking for. Okay, hit, let me hit start. I hear it shows your uh, abilities and stuff, so action help. So this is the only thing we have. It's just the basic controls. Down there's all the different powers you can get as you progress through the game. I think save is a. This is a quick save. I guess we could show it real quick. Yeah, save. Yeah, so that's kind of like a quick save, and then you just go like right here. Yep. Save. All right, so we're invisible. Can I see where you're at with the little dust? Okay. Oh, got the key. Okay, so now we need to uncloak ourselves. Where the heck am I? Okay. 
Uh, can I not go down the ladder? So I think when you take damage, that's when you get uncloaked, I think. So I'm just gonna stand here. No. Maybe you have to touch water or go through, oh, I'll go through pipe, I think. Yeah, there All right. Like I said, this game is more on the, the puzzle side. Blink, blink, blink. Yo, we got treasure. Twenty six coins. All right, so we got two pieces from another stage. We got the blue one. It's kind of cool stuff like that. And now we go this way. All right, so now we go to the west. West one. The desert ruins. All right. Now it's dark. Then if you ever get stuck in this game, you can talk to, uh, you can go to the temple. They point you in the right direction. It's like, okay, go to this stage and blah, blah, blah. And it's a hidden system. So if you ever get stuck, you just go there and tell you what to do. Oh, that's a teaser. So eventually you unlock this. And I believe this is just the mini golf and you can kind of play it whenever. I believe. Okay. Desert Ruins 1. If I remember right, it's one of these sites. Okay, so this is, we actually have to go this way when it's daylight here, so we actually can't go this way. I'm, okay, so I'm gonna let's do a test. I don't remember if I just go to map. If it's a quit out of the level, does the daytime change? Yes, she does. Okay, so I guess in a way, if you want to change the day, the day night cycle. But see, now it's harder though. So the stages actually do change the time of day. Yeah. Oh crap. Okay, so these are on a kind of a timer. I thought when I just touched the platform. No! No! I'm gaming. We're trying to game, dude. Why do you? Alright. So now it's open. Uh, is the key in here or the chest in here? Keys. Uh. Crouch jump. Does that work? Yep. Right. Let's go. Alright, so here's another one of the powers. Oh, you showed off. Wee! This will eventually run out. Eventually. Okay, there we go. All right, so we gotta watch out for that guy. Uh, go down. William. So sadly, I can't kill these guys yet, but eventually you'll get a better uh, charge to one of your power-ups. Like I said, I don't even have the, the butt stomp yet. Okay, well, we got hit here, but we'll be fine here. Oh, but he's gotta have this burnout. Boing, boink, 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 boink. Wario, go. Right. There we go. Let's go. Treasure. All right, what have we got? We 
you've got a piece of, a top of a piece of paper. Might be a map. Wario Land. Well, now we can guess if we can go back here and now we go to the other side, because this side's probably nighttime. Yep, I see a moon, so now we gotta go this way. Uh oh. Or Big Chungus. I'm Big Chungus. Alright, no more Big Chungus. Now we're just Big Wario. Alright, so now we got the red key. And there's a way you can. Yeah, so if you hold B. Alright. I might just sit here and just play this entire game. This game's fun. Alright. Uh. Okay. I'll show this off. Get split in half, but I'm Wario. No, let's go back to go. Nobody can kill Wario. I mean, these guys. <laughs> I should make a new Wario Land. Ah, oh, damn it. So there's, there's a game that just came out on Steam called Pizza Tower. I guess that game is supposed to be more like Wario Land uh, 4 than, one, than uh, 2 and 3. But if you guys are craving for a new Wario Land uh, and you have a PC, check out Pizza Tower. I'm going to assume that game will probably come to Switch at some point. There we go. All right. All right. Blink. Let's go. Now we got the bottom half of the map. Or whatever it is. I forgot. We'll find out what it is. Yay. That's pretty cool. As you get the treasures. Piece of paper. Magical piece of paper. What's it do? It makes a tornado go away. Of course, that's what it does. So if you just read some paper, a tornado will go away. All right, let's go. Kino space. Wee. Okay. Or they're too slow. So I'm just holding down here. Jump. Oh, we don't touch those guys. What's up, dude? You love my Friday 13th videos? Well, thanks. Thanks for liking my videos. We're checking out some Game Boy games tonight. Uh, so as you can see right now, this platform is not going, but if I believe if I get a different treasure in this level, that'll activate that. So like I said, it's kind of like a Metroidvania in, in a way, this game. Uh, uh, is this go right? Okay, so there's the gray key. Oh, you're a carnage. Okay, yeah, I saw you in the stream. Yeah, thanks for liking my videos. Hey, you're that Bugsy, weren't you? I remember how you played Bugsy? Ah, shit. I think we want to jump kind of late here. There we go. Oh. Let's get the heck out of here. All right, so where is the gray door? Or that door, um, treasure. Uh, I don't think it's... Um, okay, so it's not that. Uh... Okay. Oh, I don't need to jump there. Wee. Oh, I dig it. That's it. Um, let's go this one. 
But this is kind of where the puzzle elements are coming in this game. Trying to figure out obstacles and stuff like that. Take up here. There we go. Oh, look at that! We got a boss battle! The boss battles are interesting in this where... I guess that since you don't die, basically if you get hit once, then it's game over. You gotta restart. Oh, crap. Uh, can I even fight? Can I even beat this guy right now? Well, I can. I might have to come back. Oh, I jump on him. Okay, there we go. We're gaming! Now we're riding his hammer. Is this the gray chest? Oh, this actually is the gray chest. Let's go. So do I get a music box here? Nope. Got some overalls. <gasps> Power up. All right, we got a new ability, gamers. All right, what we get? All right, here we go. That's right, cool. It shows you what. Bam. All right, so now we got the butt stomp. Let's go. That's cool. It's like, okay, so you get butt stomp. Cracked blocks. Oh. Well, these tutorials are really cool, too. Shows you everything you can do. What, Final Fantasy... Dawn of Souls is your favorite Game Boy Advance game? Nice. That's, uh... Dawn of Souls is the first game, right? One and two. I used to have that game. You don't think you played this one? Yeah, Warrior Land 3 is great. In my opinion, this game is easily one of the best Game Boy Color games. All right, well... So now we got the butt stomp. So now we can potentially go back and explore all the levels or just keep going. And that's where like the Metroidvania ness comes in this game. Like, okay, we got a new ability. Now we can backtrack and whatnot. So. so I don't think I can do anything else really in this stage. I think we might probably want to go back to newer stages. Yeah, one and two. Yeah, if I remember, I, I used to have that. I think it's funny. Over the years, I've had like a million different versions of Final Fantasy 1, but I've never beat it. <laughs> and 2. All right, well, now we've got the ground pound, so I'm just going to go back to the first stage. Do, 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 do. And I'm just going to do a quick save. Like I said, like the other NSO stuff, you can do save states and whatnot. You can rewind. How do you rewind? I think you hold triggers, right? Yep. You can rewind if you need to. So. All right, so now we can break these. And then it showed us that we can actually butt stop these guys now. Ooh, new secrets. You beat it many times on Final Fantasy 1. The only Final Fantasy game I have beaten is Final Fantasy VII. I got close to the very end of Final Fantasy III Remake on the DS, but I couldn't beat the final boss. And I guess I kind of gave up and never beat that game. But I got like to the very, very end of the game. Now we're flat as a pancake! Mini game clear. Multi-pack with the rate of one. Your favorite is nine? Nice. I never played nine. Um, well. I need this guy. Actually, they scared him off. All right, this guy will turn me up. Yo, thanks, gamer. All right, mini game clear. All right. Um, get out of here. Here with the raid, yo. Thanks for the raid, dude. Chilling, playing some Game Boy games. We'll play probably some other games here shortly. We're gonna make a bunch of videos for the YouTube channel. So if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching, everybody. Alright. So there's the red key. But we need to find the mini game. So we can get to that red chest. I think it's this way. We're gonna hit by that guy. 
right, so here's the mini game. And it's golf. So here's where your money comes in. All right, here we go. We'll play some golf, everybody. All right, part four. Bagoosh! We're playing Wario Golf. Bagoosh! Oh, the bunker. We got par. That's the mini game. So eventually you'll actually get the ability to play that whenever you want. I believe that's what that game door is that we keep passing. Mini game clear. Bam. All right, now I'm going to go get the red chest. I guess I'll show you what this is. That's what that guy does. Ugh, we're drunk. Let's go. All right, treasure. <laughs> Yo, we got, it looks like a, a cooking pot or something. Almost like Mario Party on the golf, yeah. All right, so what's this pot going to do? Ooh, looks like a cloud. Oh, look at that. Whoa, we summoned some rainstorms over there. <gasps> That's filled with water. <gasps> now we got a new stage. Yeah, so this game's really cool like that. You're just getting all these cool treasures and there's a bunch of stuff to the open world. So this is a really cool game. I like this game a lot. All right. Well. I think if I get all the music notes, is that how I unlock it? I don't remember. I'd have to look it up. It's been a while since I've actually played through this game. Yeah, so we got W3 and we got W4. Hey, hey, town and Chaos. So this is, if I remember right, we should be able to do this stage, I think. Yeah, we can't swim yet. Was it released in North America, uh, this game? Talk about Wario? Yeah, this game wasn't released in North America. The ground pound those, ooh, puzzle. Puzzle solving. I gotta just do this. Yeah, this game was released in North America. Yep. Yep, I used to own the physical cartridge for this game. Sadly, I don't anymore, and I wish I did. Yeah, it's what? Yeah, so I'm excited for more in Wario Land. Uh, ah, damn. Uh, two and one come to Switch Online. So even though I can, I have a million ways where I could play these old Game Boy games, I still think it's really cool these are finally on Switch. Like, I really like the presentation of uh, Nintendo Switch Online. They did a really good job with, like, the presentation of all the apps and stuff. You've never seen this game, but yeah, this game's sick. All right, so here's the gray treasure chest. We gotta find the key. Where is said key? I don't know. We'll find out. It's in one of the water. I don't remember where the key is. We went a little too far. All right, so now we got backtrack. Sadly, we can't swim yet, so. I think we can do this key right now. I think we can. Well, what's up there? Can we go there? Damn, I can't get up there. There's the key. He wants Sega N64, but don't know if it's worth the money. I guess that, that would be up to me for you. If it's worth the money or not. There are some really good N64 games. And Sega Genesis. Yeah, for as for 64, though, there's a lot of great games on the service. But this is from somebody who has grown up with Nintendo 64, so. In my opinion, there's a lot of good games. You got what, Mario 64, two Zeldas. Pretty much just all the games are really good, to tell you the truth. 
Wave Race 64 is great. You got Mario Party. GoldenEye just came out. We actually played... We played through all of that game, actually, on the channel. Alright, so I think we got a compass, so... Alright. Sound and chaos. Yeah, golden eyes fun. Also keep in mind with uh, the Nintendo Switch. Oh, there's this. I can't do nothing. Uh, crash. Okay, so oh, there's the gray. Uh, keep in mind that you play online and stuff too with the Nintendo Switch online games. It's really cool. All right, we're inside now. Oh. Wait. Yeah. We only get him fire. There's the red key. Okay, so I don't think I want to go in here. Yeah, I don't think we want to be in here. Or can I get the red keys? I don't know if I can get the red key. Or oh, the red chest. Yeah, I think I went in the wrong door. I don't think I want to go this way. So here's the blue chest. Okay, there's a blue chest. Yeah, because if I remember, I mean, there's the blue key. Yeah, so we definitely cannot get the blue right now. Yeah, I'm, I don't think I need to. I don't think I want to be here. I think, let's let's go back. We might need some other powers. Boom, <clears throat> I don't even know where the red chest is at. But we know where the gray chest is. Like it. Shortcut there. Then. I got the door. Alright. I think I want to keep going up. That's right, you can do that. You can slide. I forgot about that. That's in speedrun tech? <laughs> Kinda looks like it. <laughs> Alright. Watch out for these guys. So you know the gray chest is to the left. Oh. We might be able to go in here. Oh, we don't want to be Big Chungus there. Actually, do we want to be Big Chungus? I don't think so. Okay, there's a great. Zombie. Oh, nice dodge. We want to go up. Oh, I need to go hit the switch. Okay, I, I do need to come in here. All right, I'm going to for the zombies. Oh, well, that don't work out. Maybe I had to come down there. So we got to take that thing and hit it all the way over here. My butt is on fire. I'm on fire. Oh, we're just going to wait. Puzzle solving, baby. So we gotta hit this thing all the way over here. Because you guys saw the open window over here, right? It's all the way over here. And we go in here. It doesn't work. Alright, actually, I don't think we need to go back in there. Let's keep going. We wanna go this way. We got the gray key. We know the gray chest is to the left. And the great chest, let's go! Which is the Game Boy that you can open, close like a DS? The Game Boy Advance SP. I actually still own my Game Boy Advance SP, thankfully. Alright, we got some sort of gear. That's what we got. Oh! Oh! oh. Secrets! Oh. Whoa! I see the elevator moving on the world map. That's cool, isn't it? All right. The grasslands. All right, now we can go south. 
Grasslands. If I remember right, yeah, I was gonna say there's some hidden platforms here. A red point. Alright. So we can't go that way. Yo, multi pack with the sub. Yo, thanks for the sub, dude. Really appreciate it. Uh oh. I'm dizzy. Oh no. And the only way to cover is I need to get in the water. Dang it. Yeah, thanks again for the sub, man. for the subscriber. At some point, I should probably actually do subscriber badges and stuff on Twitch. At some point in time. Well, when will that be? I don't know. <laughs> Never. Um, what's this way? I'm doing anything this way? I don't think so. Let's go back. Um. Okay. So there's the gray key. So I, if I remember right, I want to actually be fly right now. Yeah. All right. Well, we're squished. All right. So we gotta try our best to not get hit or get, get picked up. So we jump here, right? Yeah. Jump up here. All right, we're trying to get in there. We're puzzle solving. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Looks like I should make that jump. Oh. All right. Uh, let's try this one. What if I just fall down? Oh, cool. I just fell down. All right, let's go. All right, we got the gray key, but now where's the gray chest? I think I know where the gray chest is. I remember it. So what is this? I don't think there's, no, there's nothing over here, right? It was just like that coin. Yeah. All right. Now I get hit by that. We go in here. Remember it. Drop down here. And the boss fight a big giant worm. It's scary, isn't it? Uh. There we go. Okay. Let's go. I gotta be quick. Oh crap. Yo, let's go! We win! Oh. Poor gamers. There's the gray chest. Let's go! Oh, we got one of the music boxes. Let's go! That's the goal of the game, is to find the five music boxes and return to that one guy. With the boxes. Alright, there we go. gamers. I think we're going to call it there for this game. GG's, everybody. GG's. There is a look. There's my quick little session of Wario Land 3 on the Game Boy Color. Yeah, this game is great. If you have Nintendo Switch Online and you download the app, I highly recommend playing this. I think out of all the launch games for Game Boy, 
I think this one is definitely my personal favorite. I really like this game a lot. So yeah, that's gonna do for me for Wario Land 3. If you're watching this on Twitch, we're gonna check out some other Game Boy games. But if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching everybody. If you're new to the channel, if you'd like, on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. On Twitch, you can leave a follow. And on both of them, you can turn on notifications so you know when I'm live on Twitch or new videos are out on YouTube. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day, take it easy, and go play this game. It's very good. Have a good one, everybody.